I would like to share a little tip with you. We're just about to put a small concrete base down here. It's basically for an outside water tank and we're gonna build a shed structure to match this garage, build the roof back in. So the first job is shutter the base. Now we've put some of our screws in the ground here and they go down as a pile effectively. This is gonna take a water storage tank, which is 600 liters. So it's a fair amount of weight. We're gonna cast a slab over here with some rebar in it. It's gonna be roughly 150 mil thick. So we need to put around a shutter. The shutter's gonna come away from this existing raft. It's gonna be nice and true, nice and square. And what I wanna show you is the simplest way to square something up. It could be a piece of joinery. In our case, it could be a shutter. Let's go and have a look and I'll teach you how we do that. So here we have our very simple shutter. It's just three pieces of timber. One across the front, it's quite nice and stout. So when our concrete goes in, it's not gonna flex. So we wanna make sure that this is nice and square at the front here and these both these corners. So the easiest way to do that is we take a section of batten and we'll mark this. There's no tape measure needed, believe it or not. And we'll mark this. So I'll take a mark here. So we're gonna be there. Same on the other side. Now I know that's exactly where I wanna be. I'm gonna pop it on this end and fix one side. It can be anywhere. In my case, I just wanna keep it away from the wall. Then using a piece of batten to parallel it the other way. We can mark that. Then we'll transfer that to here. Pull up the batten, mark a little line. Line those points up that we just had. Pop a screw in there. Now we need to make sure that these corners are at 90 degrees. Again, with a piece of batten, I've cut a very simple point on the top and this is, it can be a one man job. It doesn't need to be any more than that, but we'll put this into that corner over there and we will mark where we're at here. There, we'll do the same the other side. here and we'll mark that as well you can see it's almost square so we know that the center of there is square then we'll get our next piece of bracing we'll pop that across here like so we'll fix one end in And then all we got to do is use our square. This is something we used to do in college, square up joinery and all sorts, and you can't beat it. So all I've got to do is just tap that until I'm exactly on the intersection between and screw it in. And there we have a perfectly parallel both ways and square 90 degrees in the corner. So you don't need a tape measure, you don't need a sight square, it's, aw it's awfully tricky on your own. And if you're using a normal square, it's way too small to do something like this. Even though you can see it's exactly square, the timber might sort of undulate or move and you'll throw it out. So I hope that helped you simple joinery or carpentry trick there. Thanks for joining me on the channel.